And the winner in the regional achievement category of best supervisor is Luton branch manager Graham McLean. <laughs> I knew I was going to win this, because I'm better than the other monkeys who are up for it. <laughs> None of that matters now, because I'm the best. Graham McLean. Yeah. 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 Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. All right. You know what? You were fourth choice to do this. Uh, Rick Spleen, fourth choice. <laughs> Behind that twat, he does the penguin out. <laughs> Oh, well, why don't you p -p -p piss off, eh? It's embarrassing yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're crap, you. That is a joke. What's the difference between Rick Spleen and a pack of polos? It's an old gag. Old eh? gag. People like polos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here's a new one. What do you get if you cross a lump of shit with a dwarf? They're losing them now. I don't think they're Rick Spleen. <laughs> Give me your hands up. Give me your hands up, me. Yeah. How many rig spleens does it take to change a light bulb? Doesn't matter, because he's a. I was cracking gags at his expense and he couldn't handle it. Well, you should sue. They hire you to be funny. When you are, you get punched. No, I don't want to involve lawyers. I'll just rise above it. Put this on. Stop in fiction. Uh, I don't think it's that bad, Magda. Uh, it is quite bad, actually, but still, I don't think I want to put vodka on it, thank you. Yes, you must. It's, it's good if it goes bad. It's good. Um, Anti-sceptic. Sceptic. 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 Many times in my town, the men would have fights, and this was good for the cops. Yeah, this wasn't a fight, Magda. I wasn't brawling in a pub car park. This is a work thing. Ah, they did not find your jokes funny. No, the opposite, actually. I was being too funny. That was the problem. Of course. Yeah. I will leave there. That's so typical. I've got this meeting tomorrow. I have to walk in there looking like this. I don't think they'll notice it. Well, Marty will. He's coming today. I have jokes from him all day. Oh, you look like a panda. Yeah. Oh, well, have fun. Oh, you can lend me 20 quid, could you? Oh, why? Well, I won't have time for the bank now. You're worse than Sam. Well, we're having a whip round for the cleaner at work. It's her birthday. What, 20? It's a, it's a special birthday? Or... Oh, don't be so tight. Well, I'm not. It's just, what, the six of you there, it's 120 pounds. Yeah, and what's the problem? What are you going to give her next year? Another 20? Because she'd be expecting it. What about Christmas? Well, what's she doing with all this money? You are so mean. No, no, I just don't approve of showering people with money, but they're probably going to hand their notice in any minute anyway, as far as you know. been working there for years. Well, if it's a good cause, I'm the first one to help out with that. God. When have you ever done that? Well, Michael at the cafe, you know, he's doing this sponsored skipping thing. I, I, I put my name down for that. So did I. Everybody did. Well, how much did you put down, then? 5p. 5p? And I'm tight. 5 bloody p. Well, how much did you put? <laughs> 5 pounds. You put yourself down for a fiver? Yes, I did. It's per skip. You sponsor him for every skip that he does. Didn't you wonder why everyone else was putting 2p and 5p next to the names? Well, I assumed they were just trying to humour him. It's quite clear on the form. So, you've sponsored Michael five pounds for every skip that he does. Well, that's, that's hundreds of pounds. I mean, you'd have to be insane to think I meant that. Okay, so tomorrow, the meeting, we outline the format for the show, yeah. and then uh, examples of round one, mm. round two, mm. and then uh, samples mm. of funny questions, funny answers, yeah. then yeah. a description of the kind of clips Come that on. we might when, play. When, in when the... are you going to do the jokes? What jokes? About my eye. 
What about your eye? Come on, I, I look like a panda, yeah? Oh, I mm. see. You've got a kind of black eye. You mean kind of? This is a black eye. Whatever. So, you start the basic pitch, then I'm gonna fill them in with the details as we go along. Okay? You wanna know how this happened? No, not really. I can tell you do wanna know how I it don't. Happened. You know what's happened at the gig last night? None of my business, really. Well, actually, I think it is your business. When I get punched in the face for telling a joke that you wrote for me, I think it becomes your business. Which joke? It wasn't any joke in particular, it was just the general thing. See, this is the difference between you and me. You're just a writer. I'm out there, taking risks. You're right. You know, you, you put it like that and I feel sort of humble. Yeah, you're at home watching The Simpsons. I'm on stage entertaining people, doing something that counts. Still, you know, it was a great episode and I don't look like I smudged my makeup. It's the black eye. I know. Hi, Dad. Hi. Oh, hey, let's have a look at the eye. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, it's painful. You Thank know, you. Um, mm. Magda reckon maybe put vodka on it. Yeah, I tried that. Yeah, you want to watch she doesn't go septic, though, because uh, that happened to my mate Spikey. Um, pierced his eyelid and it went all manky. I remember you telling me that, yeah. Yeah, well, then he got his, uh, he got his ear done and the same thing happened. No. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now he's got his nose done and uh, he's got blood poisoning. It's rust for you, isn't it? Yeah. Take it easy, will you, Dad, yeah? yeah? thank you, I will. See some sympathy, a human response. Yeah. You know the book tokens I got at Christmas? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I was wondering maybe if I could have cash instead and... Marty, do you want to buy some book tokens? I'm good, thanks. Want some coffee? No. Maybe some bamboo shoots? Oh, so now you come up with a line on it. It is a black eye. Do so you never have any cash? What's happened to your allowance? I spent it. I had some course of books to get. So well, why don't you use your book tokens? Uh, I didn't think of it. So. Well, how much are they for? Uh, like 40 pounds. 50, I think. Oh, 50? Yeah, actually, I'm um, 50, I think. Oh, yeah. come on, Sam, what do you mean, I think? Go and get them. I, I don't know where they are exactly, so maybe if I could have the cash instead, and then when I find them, I'll hand them over? Look, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll give you 30, all right? And then when you find them, if you find them... I will. Oh, then I'll make it up to whatever it was. Oh, OK. Could you not do that? Uh huh? Can you stop doing that? Ben? Yeah, just, uh... Can you... Ben, yeah. can you leave it? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Just send that. What are you, nuts? You put five pounds in this column? Yeah. That's clearly per skip. It was, it was an innocent mistake. I'll just explain. Obviously, what I meant to put was five pence per skip. Well, two pence. Yeah, I can see Michael buying that. Good morrow, sirs. Oh, Michael, before you say anything about the black eye, it was, it was an incident last night. I was assaulted. I'm fine. It just looks a little ugly. Good. About the charity skipathon, um, I was wondering if, if actually my... that was the other thing I wanted to say. Uh, I know I put five pounds per skip on the form. Everybody knows about it. I told the local press, who are obviously very interested in the celebrity element, i.e., you. It's really helped my cause. They want photos. Do they? Good. So, Michael, roughly how many skips would you be aiming for here? Well, I've been training hard, so I'm hoping to do pretty well. So, what, 100? Oh, I don't think so, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thousand. Thousand skips. Yeah, the main thing is preparation. Uh, you've got to be 100% fit, totally supple, or you're just going to seize up after 50 or You so. don't want that? Quite, quite. So uh, I'm putting a lot of work into being in peak condition come Thursday. I'm actually being trained by a, an ex-professional boxing coach who's a customer. So, yeah, it's all... Good luck. Thanks very much. Oh, I'll get you a couple of menus. 1,000 skips times five, that would be... No, it couldn't be. It is. Rick, that's 5,000 yeah, pounds. Yeah, I'll work that out, actually, thank you. What if he does more? What? You saw, he's training. If he skips like that, he'll get to 1,000 and think, I know, I'll keep skipping. He's like Forrest Gump. You know what a nut he is. He'll keep going all night. Oh, shut up. I'm just saying, the guy's looking fit. He said himself he's in perfect condition. Michael, what time does this start, the skipathon? We'd love to come and support. Oh, well, I start at 10 a.m. sharp. Don't forget your checkbook. It's a great thing you're doing. I'm just putting something back. All in the mind. Excuse me? That's who I'm raising money for. All in the mind. Great. Yes, they help people with, uh... problems. Yes. Do a lot of good work. Not that good. 
be £5,000. I know how much it is. Tell him straight. You made a mistake. You didn't mean £5 per skip. No, he's involved the press. He's told the Gazette that I'm sponsoring him £5 per skip. Maybe he won't manage that many. It's quite difficult. This is Michael we're talking about. You know what he's like. He's like Forrest Gump. He'll just keep going all night. Life is like a box of chocolates. I'm just gonna keep skipping and skipping and skipping till I done my Rick bankrupt. Well, at least it goes to a good cause. No, it doesn't. It just goes towards buying a bunch of nuts as a padded craft room so they can do their wicker work without banging their heads. I think you'll find mental health care has moved on a bit no, since... No, it hasn't. It's still all about origami and forced medication. And if they're really dangerously mad, they set them free so they can run a cafe. Sorry, I come at bedtime? No, no, Rick was just talking about his charitable work. You know Michael at the cafe? Yes, Michael. Well, he's doing that skip-a-thon thing? Yes. And Rick has promised him five pounds for every skip that he does, and Michael's hoping to do a thousand. Then this is five thousand. Yeah, I know how much it is. Why does he need so much money? It's this mental health thing that... Of course, Michael has problems, I know. In my country, when you have this problem, it's very bad, very serious. I should imagine it is. My grandfather is mad. Really? Yes. He said people are watching him all the time and mm. following him and taking photographs. Oh. And so the doctors come and they put him in the hospital and they tie him to the bed. Oh, that's nice. Yes. He was there for a long, long time. Mm. Revolution is happening, and then they find he is right. Secret police had been following and watching and taking photographs. He's not. He wasn't imagining it. He's not imagining. No. It was yeah. real. So, how long was he in the hospital for? Oh, he's still in. He had been locked up for so long, had really become mad. Oh. Poor old granddad. Yes. Hi. Oh, how's the eye? It's worse. I think I'm getting blurred vision. Oh, right. Uh, I was going to say, thanks for cash earlier, and, um, like, with the book tokens... Oh, you found them? No, no, um, but me and Ben were talking, and we definitely, definitely remember them being for £50, not 30 So, like, that's how much you'll get in book tokens. Mm, £50. Okay. Well, let's hope Michael accepts book tokens. So, do you want to give me 20 now so that you don't have to do it later, or...? Like when you find the tokens? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Sam, I hate to say this, but... You know, you could get a job, huh? Yeah. Yeah, no, I know, I know, yeah. Yeah, well, Mum was saying that Michael was uh, after a new waitress, so I was thinking I might go down and see him. Look, there's some cash by the toaster, you can take 20. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's great, then. Mm. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, yeah, okay, so, it is, and it is strictly no win, no fee. All right, okay, so I, I get the form, I'll fill that in, send you the photo to show the full extent of the injury. No, I'm, well, I wouldn't say I'm disabled by it, but it's certainly debilitated, and um, I'm, I'm suffering loss of confidence, dizzy spells, I'm not sleeping as well as I used to. Um, yeah. No, it was pretty bad. I was unrecognisable, a lot of people said. Uh, all right. Yeah, well, but there was blood because when he punched me, he had a ring on his hand. I know. Yeah, well, of course it wasn't a sexual assault, no. All right, OK, well, so I'll, I'll, I'll fill the form in and I'll send it in with a photo. All right. Yeah, thank you for your help. the devil and the deep blue sea to hide I thought that you were after the Right. But it's a picture I'll always keep in mind Where you say I've never been even liked For anything truly mine And you did it
face it, Rick. You blew the pitch. Don't talk in American to me. Next time, let me do more of the talking. Just drink your coke and shut up. Yeah, watch, watch. This guy's pulling up. Watch. You know, they didn't even want to hear from you. I'm a celebrity. Yeah. You start by insulting the guy with the Jaws reference. Oh, I didn't know he was having dental work, you, did I? You, you were incoherent. You made no sense. These are educated people. They're not educated people. They're just English. You're just so easily impressed. It's pathetic. Yeah, they want to talk business, not have some beat-up clown mumbling at oh, them. I see. Whenever it suits you, it is a black eye. I want this window open. I'm it's stuck, isn't it? God, you're like a child in the car. What's the matter with you? Next time, bring a colouring book. I smell gasoline. If they want the show, it's me they're going to want presenting. I'm the only reason we got the meeting. No, you're the only reason we blew the pitch. It's my idea, and I'd be better at putting it across. Well, that's not how it works in TV land. They want to talk to the organ grown, not a monkey. Yeah, that's kind of my point. Cyclist, cyclist, watch out for the cyclist, Rick! No, no, so he's all right. It was his fault. Bloody cyclist, you know? They shouldn't wear those fluorescent vests. They dazzle you, especially when you're down in one eye. Do you want to stop and get a sandwich? I just want to stop. Door is stuck. Man, this is a heap of junk. Can't you afford a real car? No, I can't. Oh, you blew the pitch. Get out of this. You lock it, will you? So, Michael. How's training? Oh, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's never been so fit. I've got six every morning, having a stretch and a warm-up. And I go out and have a workout, you know. Working out a rhythm, you know. You, you know, Michael, I read about this guy who's 32 years old, and um, he, he was working out, he was skipping. Yeah, skipping, I think it was. And um, he collapsed, dead. And I thought, oh, yeah, what if that happens to Michael? Oh, no, 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 no worries in that department. <laughs> Still, you know, I feel guilty. Maybe we shouldn't have suggested sponsoring you per skip. You know, it puts you under a lot of pressure, and we don't want you to overdo it. So. No, 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 no danger of that. I had a checkup with the doctor the other day. He said he'd never seen a stronger heart. That's a weight off your shoulders, isn't it, Rick? Like a human Duracell. I go on and on and on and Still, on. Still, it is quite a risk. You know? let, let, let's just be sensible. You know, forget all this purse skip nonsense. I, I'll just write you out a check now for two hundred pounds, and, and it, that'll be the end of the matter. It doesn't matter how many skips you do. We, we, we don't want to be petty. Well, that's very generous of you. But no. Three, three hundred pounds. I think I prefer to stick to the purse skip incentive, if you don't mind. All right, I've got a better idea. Five hundred pounds, and we say no more about it. Well, that's tempting. But no, no. Uh, I think I prefer the challenge. Good for you, Michael. That's the spirit of the skipathon. Thank you. What? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Come on. You didn't think you'd fall for that, did you? Still, I don't blame you trying to get out of it. I know this one guy actually lost everything. Lost. Spots the Cubs guys in a walkathon. A thousand bucks he put on this. A thousand steps later, the guy's broke. He lost everything. He lost his house, job, wife. You gotta deal with it. Are you yourself out? Oh, I will. I'll, I'll deal with it. Uh, Michael, could we order, please? All right. Oh, don't need training with this job. Um, specials of the day. We've got aubergine with parmesan and rice, lentil soup. Rick? Baked pasta Rick? and chili. What are you having? Pasta. Two pastas, please, Michael. Two pastas coming up. You were seriously going to do that, weren't you? You're going to push the box on his feet. I do a thing like that. That would have injured him. Yeah, you're right. There's no motive there. Slightly strange thing to accuse someone of. Well, you know, you were just right? Yeah, well, the other side. Of course. Any time. What am I thinking? The Duke's a hazard. You didn't lock it. Mm -hmm. I swear I smell gasoline. You can't smell gasoline. And it was called petrol here. What does Norman Bates want? Oh, God, he's turning to a bloody gazelle. Is this your phone? Oh, his phone. Yeah, it is you my phone. phone. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't work. Like, go around. Go around. Go around. Go around. Oh, God. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh. That may be forward. When he dropped it, I think the uh, 
battery cover has just got cracked a little bit now. Not that I care about the phone. It's... He didn't look too badly hurt, I thought. Hard to tell with the oxygen mask and the blanket. They always give him oxygen. That's standard. It doesn't mean anything. Was the drip for fun, too? He didn't drip, did he? Yeah. Uh, let's see that. You know, this really wasn't my fault. You, the driver, no. Not at all. Because it could be made to look like I did that I to get out of the sponsorship. I know. It was an accident. You know? Don't worry about it. This is, uh, this is your vehicle, is it? Sir? Yeah, it's been an accident. Michael's a really good friend of mine, and uh, I left my mobile phone in there, and he came dashing out with it just as I was pulling off. I was looking in the rear view mirror, as you would when joining traffic, and he just ran in front of the car. There's no way I could have seen him. You realise your tax disc expired two days ago, sir? Did it? Yeah. I was, was going to sort that out this afternoon. No, no, you didn't understand me. Your tax disc expired two days ago. You're committing an offence by having this vehicle on the road. It must be licensed or you're obliged to give statutory off-road notification. I really don't need this, you know. I've been in an accident. Yeah, in an unlicensed vehicle. I've hurt my eye quite badly. You still can see your car tax disc, though, sir, and it is out of date. What kind of badge is that in your cap? You're not a policeman, are you? I'm a community support officer. Community support officer? What exactly does that mean? It means that I assist the work of police officers. You're not that... even a traffic warden, are yeah, you? Yeah, that's correct. I'm not a traffic warden. I am a community support officer. So what is the officer. point of you? You've got no powers. You can't arrest anyone. Well, I can detain the suspect. You can't give tickets. My duties do include traffic supervision. They give you a zookeeper's outfit. It's a joke. You've got no powers. You're not helping anyone. Yeah, well, you're not helping, sir, with your attitude. Now, if we can please get back to no, the matter... No, come on. What exactly is it you do? I provide backup for police officers in situations... Oh, admit it, that... you wanted to be a policeman, didn't you? Hmm? With a blue flashing light and a Nino siren. Hmm? Na, 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 sir, I would na, advise na. you... Tell you what, why don't you just potter off back to the fancy dress shop and ask for a refund? Or change it for a wizard's costume so people take you a bit more seriously? Can hmm? we please get back to the matter of your car tax, please, sir? No. I don't want to. Now what are you going to do? Get me for a couple of hours. Mm. You know what it was? I was cracking gags. I was being too funny, and this community support officer, he couldn't handle it. I had to call in the big boys. <sighs> That's... You're too funny for your own good. That's all right now, I think. First you get punched, then you wind up in prison. It wasn't prison. I just had to wait in a cell for a bit while they found someone who could take my statement. <laughs> and how's Michael? Oh, he's fine, yeah. Marty called me. He's already back at the cafe. So he wasn't hurt? Uh, yeah, he's, he's walking with a crutch. He's on crutches. Crutch? Just one. Well, actually, more of a walking stick, really. Yeah, a couple of weeks, he'll be fine. Of course, it has ruined the skipathon thing. Yeah. That time. Yeah, it really wasn't my fault. I think what must have happened is Marty nudged the gear stick and <laughs> like that, the whole thing. Well, mm. you just have to write out a nice big check for oh, his well, charity. Yeah. The thing is, you know, he didn't actually do any skips. I don't, I don't want to patronise him. Just write him a check. Did offer to do that before he injured himself, and uh, he turned it down. Insisted it had to be per skip, so uh, it's really just out of my hands. Oh. Ah, how was prison? It wasn't prison, Magda. I went down to the police station to make a statement. They thought I looked upset, which I was for Michael's sake. So they said I should have a rest first. In a cell. Cell? <laughs> it's a, a room with a bed that can be locked. Ah, yes, prison. Hiya. You okay? Yeah. Uh, listen, you might as well hear it from me in case anyone else tells you, but uh, this afternoon I, I got... Got banged up. In a cell. Yeah, it's cool. You, you, you heard? Yeah. Do you have to go down to the station and uh, bail him out, Mum? No, no, he managed to get out all by himself. you just got to rise above them, you know. They're filth. They're not filth, Ben. You really can't say that. The, the police were great towards me. It was the community support officer who had the attitude problem. They're so sad, aren't they? I mean, they think they've got some power, but they haven't. Uh, they have some power. So, any luck with these book tokens? No, uh, no, but Ben does have an idea. 
What's that? So it's a library card. Yeah, yeah, and you can keep it, Doug. You can get loads of books out. Then you can take them back and uh, and get some more. Yeah, I uh, I know how a library works. Isn't it? I was quite looking forward to it. No, I know. I know you were. And these things happen, right? Hey, Mike. Whoa. That's a hell of a black eye. <laughs> yeah. Snap. The doctor said it must have been when I passed out and smashed my head on the bonnet. Bad luck. I'm afraid I'm not going to be up to much skipping. No, today. no. I did ask the doctor. Did you? Yeah, he said, no way. No. Well, it's, it's just like my whiplash, you know, when it happened. It's the same thing, you know. Still, uh, some good news. What's that? My mobile. You know, when, when you dropped it, it, it actually isn't broken. I mean, the back is, is cracked, but I've, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, I'm still a bit woozy from the painkillers. They're, they're a bit strong. Still, I would like to take you up on that offer of yours. What offer's that? The 500 pound, no matter how many skips I do. <sighs> yeah. You, you, did reject that, so... <laughs> well, yeah, the circumstances have changed somewhat. Not really my fault, though. Either. No, although I can see how some people actually might think it was your fault, with the driving. The, the man from the Gazette did seem to think it would be appropriate. Oh, did he? Right. Yeah, fine. Was it 500? Yes. Yeah. That's, that's very kind of you. Yeah. It's all worked out quite well, really. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, to be honest, I wasn't very good at the skipping bit. Yeah. I didn't tell you because I didn't want to disappoint you, but I just couldn't get the hang of that. But you, you were being trained by the boxing guy? Yes, yeah. I mean, I was getting fit, but every time I tried with a rope, I just got hopelessly tangled up. I think my record was 12. 12 skips. 12 skips. <laughs> 12 times 5 pounds, I think. 60 pounds. Thanks. How's the eye? Oh, it's, it's quite sore. Oh. The doctor said it was pretty deep. You know? Oh, God. Have you tried putting vodka on it? No, is that good? Hmm. No. 